Good morning, so for today's breakfast I'm going to have some chuk which is Korean rice porridge and there's loads of different types but today I'm going to have red bean and chicken, I think it's like um, stew chicken or something like that. Anyways, um, yeah that's what I'm going to have. Oh no, my grandma's in the background laughing. <laughs> okay, I'll show you in a bit. So this is the red bean porridge and as you can see there are rice bits in it and usually there are round rice, I think rice cakes, like balls of white rice cakes but I already ate that so this is what I have. So I finished breakfast and now I think I'm going to do some yoga. Uh, yeah, I feel really awkward about filming me doing yoga, but seeing as it's part of my day, I thought I would film it. And yeah, I don't do this every day, but just yeah, every few days or whenever I feel like it, I usually try and do an hour, like, so two videos that I use. Um, yeah, and then that's basically it. to go out because I'm going to the pharmacy to get the mouth masks. Um, in Korea, ever since the coronavirus started, the government actively recommended all its people to wear face masks. Um, like everyone, not just the hospital staff or the healthcare staff, but everyone. Um, and we did experience a shortage for a short while, but then the government really try to provide everyone with masks and ever since then how it worked was the government allocated each person a day that they could go to the pharmacy um, depending on the end number of your birthday um, so for example like if you were born in let's say um, 1988 you would be eligible to go by on I don't know a Wednesday something like that um, so every week you could go in once a week um, with your ID so you don't cheat the system and go twice or something. Um, so you go in once and you're allowed to buy maximum of two masks per person. Um, and these masks are like... are like these ones. So yeah. Um, they're the KF94, I think, like something like that. So, yeah, they're, they're supposed to filter out um, very, very small molecules and particles. Um, yeah, because the thing with wearing masks is there's a lot of debate around it, but I'm actually very for wearing masks because um, there's been studies and, like, I think it's common sense also. Um, when somebody coughs, those uh, water molecules or like the moisture molecules from that person's cough can travel up to six meters. And when that person sneezes, 
um, those water molecules can travel up to 8 metres and they linger in the air and, and then they drop obviously because they're heavier than oxygen. Um, but in those moments that it lingers or that it's spread out, you can breathe that in, you know? And should that person happen to have a virus, I mean, not even just corona, like, should they happen to have a flu, like, you are going to get infected. So I think it's right that everyone wear a mask, and especially so with the corona, because um, some people happen to be asymptomatic, and you never know like whether they're a carrier or not, or whether you're a carrier, so you should always protect yourself and others by wearing a mask. Um, yeah, and I know not all countries do that, and not it's not recommended in all countries, and for me it's just, yeah, it's just incomprehensible why it's not recommended, and I think it should be. Um, but anyways, enough of that political talk. Um, so yeah, every once a week, all Koreans are allowed to go to the pharmacy and buy two masks. And today is my day. And at the beginning, it was really, really like, you know, life or death. And everyone had to line up and people were queuing for ages to buy a mask. But now it's really died down, like no one goes to buy masks anymore. I mean, some people do, but it's not as, um, yeah, dire anymore. So there's just less demand and less queuing um, so yeah I think you can go any time before there was also like an allocated time per pharmacy that you have to go and line up and get the moths but yeah now you can just pretty much go in any time um, yeah so I think I'm gonna go now and I also need something else from the pharmacy so yeah uh, let's go yeah, just a side note um, these masks are actually like the medical mask, um, but we've always had other ma mouth masks available at the pharmacy. But the reason why the government started providing these is the fact that they are cheaper. Like you can get them for um, one thousand five hundred each, which is like uh, yeah, one euro fifty or one dollar fifty about. Um, per mouth cap but the other ones are like if you want more high quality ones with like special filters or I don't know special uh, cloth ones they were always available so yeah but um, they they can be a bit more expensive so that's why the government subsidized these and made them available to everyone which I think was a really good move by the government um, so I just wanted to add that as a side note. Actually, before I leave, I thought I might do an outfit of the day, if you can even call it that. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm wearing a mask that I got from the pharmacy, <coughs> provided by the government, and this is 1,500 per mask. Um, I'm wearing this scarf, that's my mum's actually, but I think it was gifted to her, so it's free. Um, oh yeah, and this bag, it's just a... a simple bag but I really like it because it has a moon on it um, yeah I think this bag was gifted by a friend so again free and then my coat is from she's miss I think and yeah this is um, the only clothing item that I paid significant amount of money for um, in this whole outfit um, but still I bought it on sale and um, this jumper, this yellow jumper with like three little figures on it, um, this actually my mum found by the recycling bin. So we have um, fabric recycling bins that you can put your old clothes or any sort of fabric in. And um, somebody had so nicely folded it and put it on top of the bin instead of inside. And my mum saw it and she was like, oh, it's such a nice colour. And she brought it home and obviously washed it and yeah, now I'm wearing it. And um, my trousers are a gift from a friend who works at Nike, um, so again free. Um, and my socks are from, you know, there's like grandma selling socks on the side of the road. So I'm pretty sure they were like one thou, one euro, one dollar, something like that. And my shoes are from 
Paris, France, and uh, I know that sounds super fancy, but actually there's a funny story behind it. Um, wait, let me take this off. Yeah, there's a funny story behind it because um, my boyfriend and I went to Paris and it was raining so hard that one day we decided to look around Paris and I was wearing these like really nice black mesh trainers um, but obviously because they're mesh like the rain seeped through them and through my socks so I had to buy like a really quick and cheap alternative and I found these for 10 euros and I was like uh, yes please and they have velcro like who doesn't want velcro so yeah I bought them for 10 euros but I wear them every day now and it's so comfortable well I say every day every time I go out um, yeah, so comfortable. So I think that was like the best 10 euros I've spent in a while. Um, yeah, that was the outfit of my day. I think, like, yeah, I think the total is something ridiculously cheap. So you can dress on a budget, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, I make myself giggle sometimes. Okay, um, let's go. Oh, and ever since the coronavirus broke out in Korea, um, most places in the elevators or like places where a lot of people touch have this antiviral film like this. And yeah, it says here that it destroys 99.9% .9 of the virus. So yeah, I think things like this are really handy. A couple of friends have asked me um, how is the situation in Korea, like are the shops open, are the restaurants open and the answer is yes, everything is open and I found out that in the constitution, in the Korean constitution, that it is not allowed for the government to close down shops on their own accord. So yeah, I can show you right now. Like. This wine shop is open and if we walk over here, this clothing shop is open, this bread toast restaurant is open and it even has set out chairs and if we go here, all these shops, yes, they are all open. And I don't mean to say they were always open, I mean some shops have closed by themselves when the situation was really bad here they just closed because there were no customers people were not going outside as much um, so yeah they were closed for some time but yeah now it's all open again and um, but the government never had a say in it you know and I think that's actually a good thing um, I think the yeah I think the people do need some level of protection over their businesses um, I think the economy does need some level of protection. I know that this is like crisis mode in a lot of countries. Um, but yeah, this is also like people's livelihoods. And uh, I think they should have also a say in whether they can or cannot go to work or do their business. You know? So yeah, I know not everyone will agree, but that's what I think. And I think sooner the economy is running again, the better. And here as well, like, even though everywhere is open, like the customers and the employees and the owners all wear mouth masks and also keep distance. So yeah, it's just all of those things combined that allows the economy to run again.
What? Seven hand for socks? Yes, please. 